Morning chaps, how are you doing? So uh, yeah, yesterday we uh, took the bikes back, a bit mental as you can see, and uh, we came back on the Metro, and uh, yeah, that was um, quite a surprise, it's really clean, it's uh, just like London underground, so that was cool. There was some damage to Helen's bike. There was um, on her rear rack, um, welding had snapped, and also part of the uh, engine protection had broke off as well. And that was because on, I think it was on the way here to Delhi. We were on a three-lane highway and this lorry was in between the second and third lane. Helen, maybe wrongly, decided to overtake him on the outside. But what the lorry done? He didn't see her and they don't indicate or nothing moved across and on the right and on her right was a wall she got completely squeezed and I saw parts of the bike hang off it was the scariest moment that we've had in India I thought she was a goner I, I really did but today we're gonna go to the Red Fort which is, I believe, just inside New Delhi. So we've been staying in Delhi, which is, if you didn't know, it was um, like the capital district of India, but New Delhi is the capital city within Delhi. In Delhi um, is what was, you know, goes back as far as the sixth century. And uh, New Delhi, the city, was built by the British in the early 20th century. So it's probably a lot more organised. And uh, anyway, we're going to see the Red Fort. Now, when the British was over here, they took over it, and uh, apparently it used to be white. And the British thought, now nah, let's paint it a different colour, and so they painted it red. Oh, this little boy is begging for stuff. Poor bugger. Maybe I should give you some money because you'll be on YouTube. <laughs> Just gave him a few bob. Didn't even say thank you. <laughs> There's a milkman. Yay! <laughs> on his bike. You've seen quite a few of those guys with uh, bloody milk containers. Oh, nuts. Send up there for vegetables. <laughs> so here's the red fort. Well, this is quite an impressive fort. It is huge. Well, there's a big green patch of grass on this side. Oh, uh, it's just full of litter. And these guys are picking up, sweeping up all the crap that probably comes from there and gets blown over here. I believe it's made of limestone, so, I mean, if it was painted red, it's done really well for the paint to, to stay there and not show the white underneath. Um, maybe this limestone just absorbs the paint and that's why it's still this colour, unless they paint it every now and again. It's huge. Yeah, all those birds over there, are eagles 
Not fascinating. He just sat there in a park. But there's nobody here. Nobody on this park. How it gets so full of rubbish, I'll never know. They're quite, quite patriotic over here. We very often see the Indian flag. I just wish we would do more of that in Britain and be proud to fly the flag. Big moat. Wow, this fort is so big. Wow. Jeez. Okay, so this is inside the fort. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. So this fort was built for the Mughal, Mughal, em Mughal Empire. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's faced lots of different takeovers and wars and things. And so much has been stolen or damaged. And, uh, and the British had control over it, um, I think for about 90 years. And they demolished about 80% of the buildings. So, um, which is shocking really. So much has been stolen from the original Mughal Empire. And um, there's apparently a, a lot of the important relics are in London in all the uh, what four or five major museums in London there's quite a few f things there and uh, well the, the, the Indian government have tried to get those jewels and whatever back here but now uh, the British ain't having anything of it but uh, that's where it goes, isn't it? Now these ain't ravens in these trees. They're actually eagles, there's loads of them. And they've all disappeared just because we walked here. Wow. Look at them. Isn't that amazing? So this is the other side of the walls of the fort oh, they look a bit messy and there's full of rubbish and all that but um so yeah must have been rooms all the way around this fort how many kilometers of fort was there uh, not that sweet. Huh? so there's 2.3 kilometers of this wall and uh yeah eight years to construct to build the fort is that all took eight years to construct by the moogles who uh been trying secretly but in this fort trying to find somewhere to have a cigarette I and mean, there's loads of land in that but it's not allowed it's not permitted but anyway, it's nice to break the walls from time to time. But literally, it's a massive area, this. There's not one place you can't sit without some bloke in a uniform seeing you. They've got every angle covered. God, every angle covered. Metal? How do you know that's metal? How do you know that's metal? Stone? Well, music was played in this when uh, important digging trees used to visit this place. Yeah, yeah I like you could play cricket. We play two lots of cricket. The A team and the B team.
So all these fancy ornate buildings made sometimes out of marble are all Mughal made back in the day. And all these buildings, more so in the centre, were made by the British. Well chaps, that's, this is going to be the end of our time in India. Um, it wasn't the experience we wanted, hopeful, but it was an experience. We've been joined by a, a load of monkeys. There's a couple there, look. Oh, cool. Hi guys, so we've uh, downed our motorcycle helmets and we've got some ski helmets on and we've come to Andorra for a couple of weeks to do a bit of skiing and uh, yeah I've, I've skied a couple of times before so uh, this will be my third time and Helen hasn't skied for 16 years so uh, we've been here four days, we've had four days skiing yeah, coffee and fags in our rucksack, so we're all good to go. So, uh, yeah, in the next video, we'll, uh, we'll show what we get up to. Hopefully, not too many crashes. Ah, ah, yeah. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.